people of the internet. Yes, it's me. And I'm coming at you with my HD Vivta cam or uh, Digicam or whatever you want to call it. I was recently tagged by McBeezy to talk about the three things that I was it love or like about myself. I think it was love, love about myself. And it's taken me it's taken me a little bit of time, right, to be able to work out I have to really examine myself. I don't do this normally. I, I mean, you know, I just think I'm... I'm well, I, I think I'm great. <laughs> I don't want to be modest or anything, but a lot of my friends think I'm great, and I think I'm great. But I needed to really examine what it is to be me so that I could, I could bring this video to you and generally... And, and what format I was going to do it in as well. It, it, um, I know it's been a while, but um, what format and, and, and so on and so forth. So, I, I decided that the format had to be vlog style, uh, like I used to do my other videos, because it's not a playthrough, is it? It's, um, it's a, you know, it's a video saying what I like about myself, love about myself. So I broke it down to the three main things that I think that I really do love about myself and I think other people love about me okay and I've decided to do it from three to one three being the least and one being the, you know what I really really like about myself okay so we'll start with number three now number three is my generosity now my generosity it basically it goes beyond what normal people's generosity would be um, if I had and let's say for instance if I had a sandwich and I had all my friends were starving and I was the only one to have this sandwich right I would share this sandwich with every single one of my friends even though right there may be a possibility that I won't have any of that sandwich myself. And the reason being is because everything that I own, everything that I own in my house, everything, everything, everything in my life, right, I would share with my friends gladly. Everything I own, they own. And these are my close friends, only my close friends. Not all of my friends, just my close friends. I mean, I have a lot of friends. A lot of friends but my close friends the ones that I choose like completely they can have anything that I've got and I don't ask for them to do the same things for me as I do for them and then we've got number two number two is my wisdom and I believe that I'm a very wise person I'm not saying that I'm a very intelligent person, but I'm a very wise person. And this is a different thing. And that is that I have a lot of life lessons that I follow myself, that I feel are very wise, and I pass them on to other people when they ask me about stuff. And I can sort people's problems out. I use this wisdom to do that. Um, and I suppose, in a way, that's... That's pretty much all I need, need to say about that because, I mean, I'm just, I, I'm very, well, ask me a question and I'll ask right answer it as best I can. Um, what's it? <coughs> Sorry. Oh, there's something in my mouth. Oh, what's that? Yeah, uh, there. Oh, sorry. Sorry, spitting. We'll edit that out. Anyway, being a very wise person, um, there's not much else I can say about that. And that's number two. So, um, finally, finally, we get to number one. The one thing that I really love about myself. And that is that it doesn't matter in what situation I am, in any social situation I am, when I'm talking to people, I can see the funny side of pretty much anything. So, number one is definitely my sense of humour. And my ability to joke about pretty much anything or any subject and to come out with a joke that'll make people in fits just make people in fits of laughter 
all the time. Um, it's something that I've that I've perfected since I was a kid, and I I really enjoy that aspect of me. I I think that my funny side, my funny streak, is definitely one of the most important things to me, and, and defines me. My humour defines me. Um, it what started out as a it started out basically as a uh, um, a defense mechanism. Uh, I used to get bullied as a kid, and the easiest way to stop people from bullying me was to make them laugh. And it, it worked a lot. Um, you know, you'd get a lot of friends, but uh, you'd still be bullied by some of the, the people. But I found that my humor was a good way of just escaping that and making sure that people didn't. And, um, and, and confusing people enough at the, so that they wouldn't hit me basically so I suppose what started out as a defense mechanism has become one of my most favorite things about me and that's that's pretty much I, mean, I don't know how long this video is but um, that's pretty much what I what I live about myself it took me a while to be able to round it down to the, the main three things that I like of course after this video we have to make sure that we tag some other people so I want to know, I want to tag, I think it's two people, is it two people that I have to tag? So I suppose I'm going to tag AGM Productions, and I'm going to tag, who else? Hmm. Rainbow Soup. Yes, Mr. Rainbow Soup. AGM Productions and Mr. Rainbow Soup. I don't think anyone else has done that. Um, hopefully they haven't. And if they have, then... Eh. <laughs> I, uh, that's one of the things that I really hate about myself, is that uh, sometimes I have a tendency, because I'm so random, <laughs> to, to forget things that I've done like a few days ago, because I'm just so random. So... Anyway, um, yeah, thank you for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed my video about the three things I love about myself, and um, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace. Um, there's not going to be a playthrough for a while now, because I have to pick a time when people are out. I keep saying that to people. I can't do a playthrough when there are people in the house, because... It's not that I feel self-conscious, it's because, well, I don't want to do stuff when they're doing stuff, because, well, it'll be, it'll be unfair on them, like my friend, my, my family watching television, and I start just going, hey, Minecraft, you know what I mean, they're like, we're trying to watch television, it's not fair, so, anyway, peace guys, right, and, um, I'll see you next time.